mini tutorial time is what we're up to today on another episode of Gorgeous Goddesses Don't Gatekeep. Let me give you a quick and dirty way on how to create a TTS pet. Let's go. <laughs> so, in order to do this, you need a source of audio for your TTS pet, and you need the TTS pet itself. You can use a VTuber style TTS pet, so a live 2D TTS pet, or you can just use a PNG. I'm going to show you how to do the latter, because the former requires rigging and some setup of the character in VTube Studio that's going to be outside the scope of this tutorial. First and foremost, you are going to need a voice source. I recommend using TTS Monster. It is a browser source. Window capture, TTS Monster. Oh my god, look, it's a browser window. It's a free to use software. Just be warned that some of the voices are AI. Use only the base ones. Some people did not give their permissions for certain voices to be used, so I do not use those voices and I would ne never recommend it. You can set this up to be bit enabled or you can set it up as a channel point reward and they make it really easy to integrate with the existing system on Twitch. Once you have all of your voices and the actual extension itself set up, you can copy the overlay. And we're going to add that as a browser source everywhere you want the voice to exist in OBS. The next thing we're going to be doing is you're going to need a plugin for OBS. This plugin is a reactive image plugin. I recommend Image Reaction itself. Let me show you. This is an OBS plugin. It is just Image Reaction. And you can hit the download button on the page. You can actually Google image reaction and you will find it. It creates an image that reacts to sound. We have a browser source for the sound and we're going to use this and make it react. Once you've installed the image reaction plugin, then you would restart OBS. And then we're going to set up the little TTS pet. I am going to do a little studio share you're gonna create a whole new scene in OBS. And this new scene, I just call it my TTS standard scene. The reason I'm making a whole new scene is because that way I can add just this scene to everywhere I want my TTS pet to exist. And if I ever wanna make changes to it, I only have to make changes to the scene. Okay? So next what we're gonna do is you're going to add in after you've installed the plugin, an image reaction. That's what you're seeing on screen. But let's say I wanted to set this up from scratch. I'm gonna turn him off. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an image reaction. When you add in an image reaction, you can create a new one. I'm gonna call this um, cutie new, just so I can differentiate from cutie old. Then it's going to ask you to choose images. In the properties window, it will ask you to choose what image do you want it to show when this is silent? I'm going to browse for and I'm going to use uh, one of the images that I have with its mouth closed and then choose an image when there is sound. The important things you need to check out on this window are going to be the settings at the bottom. You do want to reset the image after it reacts so that its mouth closes unless you want its mouth to remain open while sound is being heard. The audio source is going to be the browser source that we copied earlier. So for me, I named my browser source TTS Monster or TTS Mic. Yep, here we go. TTS Microphone is what it's called. It's just a browser source. You can use any browser source you have. Now the reaction threshold, what I want to, you to note on this is the threshold is going to be how loud is the sound in order for the mouth to open. If you keep this really low, the mouth will stay open quite often. If you make it around 33 or so, that's where you get those nice choppy pop movements on your little reaction. Uh, more smoothness means it's going to take longer for the mouth to close. Less means it's going to turn on and off at some pretty rapid intervals. I recommend about a 0.5 to 0.6. So you're going to add a closed image, open image, and link it to a browser source. And now let's actually look at the file itself. 
So I have this file set up to where it has a cutie off, a cutie on, and this is my capture browser source. Okay, again, this is a browser source. My reaction threshold is set to 26, negative 26 decibels, and I have my smoothness at 0.4 because I like what that looks like. You are then also going to need to make sure that you resize your images after you add them. Once you've put your images where you want them to be and you like how it all looks, then all you gotta do is submit a test. Let's go and do that here in OBS. So I'm gonna turn my display capture off and I'm going to add in a scene. And the scene I'm going to add is my little TTS guy. I'm adding in, bam, here's our little TTS guy. I can now resize him and I can move him all over the screen. And I'm also going to need to make sure that I add in the browser source that we are using for him. So I'm going to add in again, my little TTS capture audio browser source, and I'm going to send a test. I'm gonna to go to TTS monster and I can actually ask it to send a little test message right here. This is a test message. And that's how it works. It's pretty simple. Now, so long as you've used TTS monster to set this guy up, for a channel point redeem, they can use the channel point redeem on your Twitch to use TTS on stream. <laughs> I hope that this has been helpful for you. This has been another really quick episode of Gorgeous Goddesses Don't Gatekeep. <laughs> May you go forth and have lots of fun with your own adorable little TTS pet. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, bye.